Our playoff march is dragging slowly forward as the Toronto Maple Leafs lose to the Buffalo Sabres 3-2 in a shootout. Our playoff march continues! Toronto Maple Leafs have named Dion Phaneuf the 18th team captain in Leaf history. Leafs. Beast in the East. And the Leafs are rocking it out in the music city. Oh man, that was great. The Leafs continue their tradition of holding the Hockey Hall of Fame induction game on the first weekend game of November. And for the first time, those inductees also include women, Angela James and Ray Ferraro's wife, Cami Granado, who both played for Team Canada in the Olympics. Or th I can't remember when they did, but... Uh, also, the inductees included Daryl Seaman, um, who passed away, uh, so his son Bob took his place, Jim Delano, and Dino Cicerelli. Now, ladies, you can make it if you put your minds to it. So, don't let gender hold you back. Now, first period, Leaks were penalized. Uh, the uh, commercial break kicked in right before Bob Cole could announce who was penalized and why, but the commercial break kind of ended late as we missed hearing who was penalized and why. But the Leafs did get a shorthanded opportunity as Schuster had an empty netter, but he missed. I mean, come on, Shuey, we're expecting more from you in these kind of situations. Uh, MacArthur also gets a breakaway, and the goal light went on, but Bob Cole was saying no, and Enroth actually stopped it. Wow, Enroth stopped the breakaway by MacArthur? Wow. Anyway, Shiger also stops an interesting shot. It kind of looked to me that he deflected the puck over the net with his head because he sort of jumped up and deflected over the net and <laughs> kind of looks like he was doing it soccer style there. Now, as the period ends, Grabowski scores to make it one nothing for the Leafs, giving him his 100th career point. Second period, Mike Homicerik and Monador get into a fight. Uh, Comey wins, and Monador is penalized for instigating the fight. And uh, five minutes before the second period ends, Derek Roy breaks his stick, and that creates an opportunity for Kuhlman to score, which he does, to make it a 2 nothing lead for the Leafs. And unfortunately, Derek Roy redeems himself by breaking the hearts of Leaf fans who are hoping Jiguer would get a shutout win tonight and scores to make it 2-1 to one for the Leafs. And in the third period, well, nothing really much happens. Morrison is penalized for holding. Brown penalized for boarding. And right when the Toronto Maple Leafs were on the verge of winning the game, collecting two points, 15 seconds before the end of the game, Hash scores to tie the game. Wow, I could really sense the disappointment among the Leaf fans at the Air Canada Centre. Overtime solved nothing. We went to the shootout. John Mitchell was the only shootout scorer who scored for the Leafs, and he used almost the same move uh, that Deke Yan Denis of uh, the Devils last year and Carey Price himself of the Habs last year, too. Um, unfortunately, Vanek scores and Ellis scores to win the game for the Buffalo Sabres. Wow, guys, it's Enroth, and we still lose 3-2 to the Sabres. I mean, they were, they are in the same position that we were last year, 14th in the East, and we couldn't even beat them. I mean, throughout the game, um, the Leafs really, really lacked energy. I mean, this is why Dion Phaneuf was brought in, guys. I mean... I mean, he was supposed to be bringing energy and bringing their confidence level up like he did last year. So think about that when you boo him next time because there is absolutely no reason to get to act like Habs fans and give him the Carey Price treatment. I mean, geez, we're not Habs fans. We're much better than them. Well, anyways, um, congratulations to Angela Gilames and Cami Granado for being the first two women to make it into the Hockey Hall of Fame. A lot of women, I'm sure, are proud of you all across Canada. 
The Leafs play Tampa Bay Tuesday night, and I'm hoping the Leafs will win because, you know, already Leaf fans are calling for some heads to roll, uh, Ron Wilson to be fired, and some changes to be made, like Nazem Kadri being called up from the Marlies and all that. So hopefully the Toronto Maple Leafs will actually get a win against the Tampa Bay Lightning Tuesday night. So until after that, go Leafs go!